Take a journey with me. You are nine years old, giving up a traditional Christmas family gathering. You're driving down to dusty dirt roads, delivering baked goods to relatives who live in rural areas of the Navajo Nation. While visiting, you notice basic necessities missing among a majority of the Navajo families, including running water and electricity. This was me 10 years ago. Encountering the struggles of some of my people, I noticed these families had Christmas dinners that consisted of perishable food from the local gas station and tortillas made over an open fire. From this, an idea sparked. I knew I wanted to pursue a dream that benefited the future of my Diné Navajo people. Keeping in mind the future of our land and sacred traditions that have been passed down from my grandparents, I used materials found around a typical Navajo household to construct a homemade solar oven. A homemade solar oven is a simple, environmental-friendly, low-cost machine that can, be, that can change many lives. With, with advances, there are a lot of things that can be done. A homemade solar oven can be there for the rest of our lives. A basic design of a homemade solar oven includes the use of two cardboard boxes, one within the other, to create a two and a half inch wall where the insulation is located. From this, the reflectors were created from the attached flaps of the outside box in order to create a funnel structure to attract more direct sunlight. I conducted numerous trials and compared varying materials in order to achieve the best performance. The solar oven's performance was based on its ability to reach high and consistent temperatures and the appearance and taste of the cooked food. For insulation, I used sedan hay, cotton, soil, which were some materials that were tested. But in the end, I found that sheep wool was best performance as my insulation. For the black construction paper, as you can see, was used as the inside lining, and aluminum foil was used for the reflectors. Using the best materials, the temperature inside the homemade solar oven achieved a maximum of 315 degrees Fahrenheit, which is above the recommended food safety internal temperatures. From here, the cooking started. <laughs> we prepared hot dogs, hamburgers, steaks, chicken, and about every Navajo's favorite, mutton. Boy, did my family and I eat well during trial runs. <laughs> the food was very tender, savory, and flavorful. The delicious smell spread throughout the whole neighborhood. Even the surrounding dogs and livestock gathered, <laughs> hoping to engage in the luscious cooked food. With a high diabetes rate on the Navajo Nation, a homemade solar oven provides food that is both delicious and prepared in its own natural juices, which is a healthier alternative than adding potentially harmful cooking fats. With great benefits to a homemade solar oven, there are a few limitations. A homemade solar oven, like a slow cooker, takes more time to prepare a meal compared to a traditional oven. And, of course, a homemade solar oven 
does not work as efficiently in cloudy or overcast weather. <laughs> However, considering the delicious food a homemade solar oven prepares using a safe, low cost and technology and fuel source, the choice seems clear. After all, patience is a virtue. <laughs> and my, since my project started, my journey has taken me many places. I first showcased my project at the National American Science and Engineering Fair, where I was selected as a finalist. At the prestigious International Science and Engineering Fair, I was given the opportunity to share my homemade solar oven idea through media, including the 100 People Foundation, an interview with Bill Nye the Science Guy, <laughs> <laughs> and several other international newspapers. I was awarded the Gothi Institute Special Award, which was an all-paid trip to Germany with five other young scientists. <laughs> During which, I had the opportunity to share my project with local high school students and teachers. I am still on my journey, one where I'm no longer traveling around delivering food, but I am working to help others take a step into a greener and healthier future. The Navajo Nation has endured harsh treatment as a result of uranium mines, power plants, and environmental degradation. However, but the homemade solar oven can change the hand we've been dealt by improving many lives once it's introduced to more people. Let's go back to that dusty dirt road on the Navajo Nation. But instead of delivering baked goods, we are greeted with Navajo families preparing their Christmas dinners in a homemade solar oven. From here, our conversations with people reveal the great benefits solar cooking has offered to their daily lives. By inspiring and bringing awareness to a small population and providing an alternative solution to a pervasive problem, we can share with the world the importance in creating a sustainable world, starting with a simple technology like a homemade solar oven. Thank you.